Hello, everyone, and welcome to KCSU 90.1 FM. I am your DJ globally, Carla. Super excited today. We have in the house, Play for Change. We're going to start with the tune. Welcome, Jason. Welcome, Mervyn. Yeah. What is the tune? The tune is called O oh, Rapper. Jason is going to sing that. Okay, let's do this. Music yeah. on KZ 90.1 FM. Here's Playing for Change. Oh, Rapper. I have Jason Tamba Merman's most single from from uh, Playing for Change here mm -hmm. on KCSU. Good morning. And morning. I'm delighted to know that you guys moved to Los Angeles now, so we're closer than ever. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Welcome to Life in California. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Carla. All right, so um, as you know, I've been following you for many, many years. I saw you for the first time in Cleveland, the second time I actually helped to promote your show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now I'm on the West Coast. I don't know if people know Playing for Change here in this area, but why don't we start talking about Playing for Change and how we got started in your own words? Yeah. What? Um, should I speak? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> yeah, but playing for church started with an idea uh, of bringing the people together through music. Mark Johnson was on his way to the studio in New York at the Hit Factory, and he saw two monks in the subway. Uh, playing music, all painted in white. One was playing guitar, and then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, both of them were singing. 
And then as these two guys were playing, uh, everybody was like stuck there. The train would come, nobody went in the train, they just stopped there listening to those guys. Some people were like really crying of happiness, some were stunned, some were singing with them in a language that nobody really understood, but they were just miming anyway. So, and then on his way, when, the, when another train came and then he got in the train and left, and then he told himself that the best music he heard wasn't the music in the studio, but it, wasn't, it was the music on the way to the studio. So then he came up with the idea of, how about we bring the studio to the people? So then they, and they came up with those mobile recording using car batteries and then the mobile studio. They brought it to the people, start recording the people. And then after the recording people all over the world, then they decided now that we got this, what do we bring, we bring uh, back to the people? That's when they came up with the Playing for Change Foundation, starting building music schools around the world. And then in like right now, I think it's like 15 programs all over the world, Africa, Argentina, Brazil, uh, Tibet, uh, Nepal, uh, uh, Mali, uh, Ghana, Rwanda, South Africa, and then yeah, there's a lot of uh, programs going there. So that was the idea how Project for Change was created. And then after the foundation, then they came up with the idea. So what do we do to represent this foundation all over the world? So now they just took the musicians that they recorded all over the world. They selected a group of musicians to represent Playing for Change foundation and to represent their own country, countries too from all over the world that's why they came up with the uh, the playing for change bang and that's all i can say i don't know if jason has something more to say yeah exactly that's the same thing i wanted to say um, um actually the idea of playing for change came like uh, trying to help musicians and streets to record because we, we found quite a lot of musicians in the street who are really so good but they don't have any chance to, to, to record their music. So then Mark had that idea to bring the studio to the people, then them coming to the studio. Yeah. So, and uh, then it start from there and building bridges all over the world. Hmm. I'm going to add something on there because I read on the website that one of the uh, early forces behind Playing for Change was a award-winning documentary called A Cinematic Discovery of Street Musicians. That's the first thing they did, yeah. I think it was in 2001. 2002. 2002, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the video that became a hit was in 2005, which was Stand By Me. Stand By Me. And um, I read that he was actually in Santa Monica, so not far from where you guys are, in the voice uh -huh. of Roger Ridley. Ridley. And Grandpa I think Elliot what, and, and I, Clarence yeah. uh, Baker. And I think uh, one of the, at least when I was in Cleveland, I was perplexed because, to be honest with you, the house was all white. These were all white people, a little bit older. And mm -hmm. I was looking around and I'm like, how do these people know about playing for change in Cleveland? And why are they all white? <laughs> Where's the diversity here? And uh, I started asking people and they had heard about you guys on NPR. So those mm -hmm. were educated white people listen to NPR and heard you guys there and fell in love and it was a very interesting concert in, in terms of um, the audience but it was really lovely and I think NPR was another force so when I think of playing for change and, and I think uh, Mark and Whitney um, Whitney Kroenke is the Whitney other Kroenke, yeah she's Kroenke. Whitney Silverstein now oh okay okay so they were the founders of Playing for Change. And, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and now you have hundreds of videos on your YouTube channel and you continue to play with a lot of street musicians, which is really interesting mm -hmm. and, and touring the world. And so 
Merman, I think you, you speak a little bit Portuguese. Então, eu vou fazer uma pergunta para você em português, se você entender. Yeah. É, ele morou na Angola. Bem-vindo, Angola, ao Global Ginga. Uhum. É, Conte-nos sobre as apresentações de vocês no Brasil e como foi a energia com o público brasileiro. I'm asking about the Brazilian performances and the energy with the Brazilian audiences. Yeah, uh, a povo, a povo de Brasília, maravilha. Maravilhoso, maravilhoso. Tocamos no uh, uh, Bourbon Street, São Paulo, uh, Porto Alegre, uh, Belo Horizonte, uh, Natal, uh, 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 Curitiba. Uh, Curitiba, né, Curitiba, Curitiba, uh, temos uma, uma escola ali em Curitiba. Uh, Uh, Salvador and uh, Ilha Bela mm, gosto muito do Brasil Brasília, muito bonita mulher bonita, música bonita uh, futebol maravilhoso o número um mais grande e como foi a receptividade do povo brasileiro? Vocês já eram conhecidos? Como que vocês ficaram conhecidos no Brasil? E Porque pelo que eu vejo nos vídeos, os, os brasileiros cantam as músicas com vocês, né? Yeah. Eles cantam. Quando eu canto, uh, Leandro e Leonardo, depois de você ficar pensando nele, depois de você ficar chorando por ele, pense em mim. Chora para mim, liga para mim, não, não. Toda, todo o povo canta comigo. Gosta. <risos> ah, então vocês adicionaram o repertório brasileiro no show do Playing for Change. Aham. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. E depois tem aquela música... Ai, esqueci que... É, vocês cantam bastante em português também, mas ela tá num dos álbuns do Playing for Change. Chanta lá ou alguma coisa assim? Ah, pensa a Deus. É, essa... linda essa música. E, e a uh, uh, Satita. Satita. Eu toquei yeah. ela outro dia. Adorei, adoro essa música. Satita nanda para Brahma. Uruchu nama para Matma. Kiri sagabati na meta. Que língua é essa? É Índia. Ai. Uh, uh, mistura com Brasília. Uh, uh, Spanish? Brasília. Porque tem um, uma mulher. Uh, do Cabo Verde. Ah, sim. Ela canta a primeira verso. verso. Ah, Ela canta. Tá. Ela. A Pensa música do Cabo Verde é muito linda, né? Oh, yeah. Adoro. Cesare, Cesare, Vora. Uhum. Muito linda. Tenho muita vontade muito. de visitar. Jason, what is your experience playing in Brazil and how is it different for you uh -huh. the, uh, the energy of the Brazilian shows? Oh, Brazil, uh, what's so amazing, we have a big crowd in Brazil, don't forget. Brazil has been always... The best, cool. the best crowd ever we have yeah, is like Brazil. A, <laughs> you, won't, oh, yeah. you won't believe how people really love what we've been doing for a long time. They've been supportive all this time. Since we've been gone there, the support is just amazing. Yeah. And they know, they know everybody. Yeah. They know everybody, the names, where we're from. They know our uh, uh, side uh, project that we do besides playing for change. They follow everything. I love Brazil. Yeah. I noticed that like on social media, Instagram and Facebook, whenever you guys post something, there are always people All from Brazil it. making comments. Oh, yeah. All over it. Yeah. Uh, even now, just just amazing, like a uh, Bourbon Street, a lot of big places. Being on, not really like to advertise, but being on global TV, and being on, uh, it's so amazing. And I remember something just touched me one day. We went to Curitiba, and uh, 
that we have a real experience like the musical therapy how music can heal we went to this hospital of people who had cancer yeah and, and, and kids so just we we work in there and brought back the smiles how they were waiting for us there those people were on the bed but really they stood up and uh, moved with us but moving dancing <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that time just stayed like a picture in my heart mm. there. so we love you brazil oh yeah. yeah we love you guys back and i don't know if i mentioned before but for the audience both jason and merman are from congo but they lived in south africa for many years and then i just learned that merman he lived in uh, angola and now you guys are in Los Angeles, so you, you definitely have the, the global um, background. And yeah. now I would like to talk a little bit about the foundation. Can you tell us what the foundation is doing? Oh, and before we do that, I just want to mention something because it took me a little while to, to come to the conclusion, the name Playing for Change, because it has a double meaning. Playing for Change, meaning change in the United States, yeah. is money. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say mm -hmm. this in Portuguese. Yeah. Playing for change, change, a palavra change, quer dizer trocado. Então, eles tocam por um trocado, porque são mm -hmm. músicos de rua. E, ao mesmo tempo, a palavra change significa mudança, uma troca. Então, a outra missão da, da fundação, da banda e tudo mais, são mudanças. É, é trazer mais justiça, é ajudar as pessoas que são injustiçadas ou que têm... É, menos poder econômico Então a fundação também tem esse trabalho de expandir é, Saúde e educação pelo mundo afora Então, lembrando dessas duas coisas é, Merman, so talk a little bit about the foundation Like the name, when you say the name playing for change like The street musicians play for change Like the, the, any change that you had, you put in my basket that's the change. And it's that's trocado change, in Brazil. The trocado, yeah. Trocado. Yeah. Now, the same change by playing for change. Now, they, we start to play to change the world. Because, because of changing one person, one, because the person plays with no cover charge, he just plays for the people. When you put your change there, you change his life. Because he was going to go back home maybe with empty pocket but when you put your change there you change it's gonna go maybe buy something to eat now because it's happening all over the world it's changing many people's life you know so now playing for change is changing the whole world from that change to the change of mentality to the change of seeing the world in a very positive way that's why playing for change is, is still building all these music schools to teach the kids music, the kids music for free, and then using the everywhere we go, like if we do this, let's say we go to this village, the people from the village with playing for change is just gonna come and then sponsor everything. We bring equipment and everything. The village themselves, they bring, uh, they start building the school from brick to brick, and they build the school, and then the teacher are right there. They start teaching the kids about music, history, dances, and all, everything, even production, you know, in the studios and stuff. Like, like for example, in Tamale, is one of our best schools. There you get keyboard players, you get sound engineers, you get music producers, you get dancers, ballet dancers, everything you get there in uh, uh, Tamale. So yeah, that's what Playing for Change keep doing over and over and over. And then it's always one school being built as we go on. Also, right now, we're just preparing a UN event that we're going to do virtually because of the COVID. We cannot meet together, but we're preparing to do something uh, virtually in partnership with UN. It's going to be a big event that's going to happen musically and stories about the musicians and life changing life and the better is uh view of the world yeah so yeah. i want to invite the audience to check out the playing for change youtube channel because you have a lot of music um music videos and and even a lot from the 
musicians that you have found along the way and you're helping a lot of the street musicians from around the world and you guys must have a lot of musician friends a lot <laughs> every, millions of musicians. every video that i see there's someone new <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah uh, I want to complete more fire also to say like, you know, playing for change, we just making a difference, making, it's making the difference through music. So because what I'm making as a musician doesn't only come to me, but learn to share. It goes to the foundation. This percentage goes to the foundation and the foundation will build music schools through that. And then that keeps on changing many, many places by building music schools. Like when we go very far down to Mali, uh, Tamale, or Ghana Tamale, or Mali Kirina, some other places, uh, Nepal, you have uh, other places that playing for change goes where there is actually no schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, that music schools, we incorporate also some courses to teach the kids for free, you know, and it keeps on changing villages. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. in Nepal. Yeah, knowledge. Where they, they were using young girls for sex, slavery, this kind of stuff. Yeah. But now they're learning about music. Exactly. So, so it's a different yeah. view. <laughs> yeah. Towards. A very noble cause. And how can we help you? How can the audience today help be involved in this change in the social good for change through music through education by joining the movement join the movement and then make some donation anything you want yeah, yeah. because those donations is gonna help some kids out there that you probably will never meet but their life is definitely gonna change and then it's been happening for like the the, the, the last 14 years it's been happening yeah so everybody please check out the website playingforchange.org um, you can visit the facebook page the instagram page you can follow the work you can see the videos the videos are amazing a lot of fun and let's move into afro fiesta now because yeah you have a side project so tell yeah. us about afro fiesta in your words Afro Fiesta is the African party, uh -huh. African party, because we are from the Congo. We love music. That's all we have left with us. Congo is the richest land, but they took everything from us. And but they couldn't take the fire that we have inside, which is the music. It's the only place when you go, you see people so poor, but the music is the happiest music ever you can look at, you know? So, so that's that, you and Jason, and who else are like the base of the uh, band? Uh, Jason on acoustic guitar and vocal. I, I am the lead vocalist, and I play different instruments in the band. And you get Joe, uh, he's on bass and vocal, and you get Felix Garemo Apapi, he's on the electric lead guitar and vocal. You get Christian Bakalanga, he's another electric lead guitar and vocal. You get Glody Dinga on the drums and you get uh, Stone uh, Chiteya Ngandu, one of uh, the, our lead singers as well, the new one. And you get uh, uh, Daddy, uh, he's on bass and percussion and acoustic guitar. And yeah, that's the basic. What's different and what's similar between Afro Fiesta and playing for change? Music. That's a similarity of music. And Afro Fiesta is mostly uh, Congolese. Playing for change is the whole world. That's the difference here. Is there a foundation aspect? Are you doing the same type of social good under the name of Afro Fiesta? So if I make a donation under playing for change, does it help Afro Fiesta as well? Well, uh, I'll send you that. I'll send you to Jay Marie to discuss that with you because as Afro Fiesta, we're just a part uh, of playing for change now. Okay. Yeah. So Jay okay. Marie, I think she she discussed that with you. 
Okay. So no shows coming up. Do you have, well, you just released a new album and I saw the video, the Chen Shen, the Cuban gift to yeah. the world. That was an amazing song. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to play anything from Afro Fiesta or from Playing for Change before we leave today? I think we do Afro Fiesta. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me get the guitar. I'll get the guitar. Let's get the guitar. <laughs> All right, Jason. Um, I know that one of the songs from Afro Fiesta was Music is My Ammunition, right? Uh, exactly, but uh, also Playing for Change. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. And uh, that was. Uh, 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 music My Ammunition, that's our last album, uh, produced by Playing for Change. So what, what is the latest under the Afro Fiesta name? We, we, we're still there. We, 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 we work on uh, two albums at the same time, so they will come out uh, when ready. But uh, what we do, we keep on recording, recording, new materials, and then we'll make it uh, what exactly we, we, we want to, how we want to lead our music. What we wanna mm -hmm. play. Yeah, Sorry, okay. Jason, let me tune this guy. You know, my daughter, my baby, uh, she's, she goes to my guitar <laughs> and untune it. That's her toy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Cara, if we let me see, we may have a lot of albums coming out soon. Yeah, send them our way. I'd be happy to share it. Yeah. As you, you uh, hear, because behind me, yeah, yeah, I did hear music before. So when you guys uh, do the video, Jason and Merman, can you put yourself on mute while you tune? And then I'll talk to Jason a little bit. Jason, when you guys do the videos, from a production perspective, are they, are they sending in the recordings or do you have a couple of people that actually go to all these countries and do those clips? Like how, how do you put it all together? Oh yeah. Odd. Yeah, it depends. Sometimes we start with, with Mermans and then we start traveling with the song to other countries. And, Who uh, travels? Uh, Ma Mark. Mark is always involved. With, with the crew. And Mermans is a part of the crew. Ah, or I students. see. Yeah, so he travels quite a lot with uh, the, 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 the production tr crew. So, I want to I wanna sign up. I, I can play a little. Of course. Of course. So if not that, while, while we're touring, while we're touring, we we meet we we meet other other musicians around and then interest them. Anyone wanna get involved? We record them while we touring. While we touring, we do also the filming thing at the same times. We says the opportunity. Okay, <laughs> I I am um, I'm a karaoke singer. I used to have a karaoke yeah. machine in my house in Pittsburgh. Actually, it's still there. Oh, but uh, I love to sing. That doesn't mean that I know how to sing or I can sing, but I love to sing. <laughs> and, uh, and I love to dance. So dancing, I can definitely be your backup dancer anytime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I solve all my problems through dancing. All right, so what are we going to hear? Afro Fiesta? We're going to play Marie. Marie. Yeah. Então vamos lá, essa é a banda chamada Afro Fiesta, que é o projeto é, adicional do Playing for Change, com ênfase na música de Congo. Vamos yeah. lá. Um, dois, um, dois, três. Licambolis in the book. Licambolana, yo, 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 Oh, 
Nani ya koko de langa yo yo bandeko Nazali na kamara de te Mamonyo so mamanda go o o o o mamanda We do the best that we can with what we have, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you both. Thank Playing for Change, Afro Fiesta. I am so happy that we're connected and I'm so happy that we're so close. I can visit you. You guys can visit me. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Carla. Yeah. Really? Is there anything else that you would like to say to the audience before you leave that maybe I haven't talked about? Well, we want to say to the audience that we're going to have a live stream with the band back in South Africa, Afro Fiesta. Is there a time? Yeah. Like a, a special? I'll send you the, all the details. Okay. Yeah. All right. That because sounds we, good. After we finish this meeting, we're going to go to another meeting just to put on the date. We're going to do that. Okay. And yeah. I'll send you the details. Everything. Okay. Well, on behalf of KZSU 90.1 FM at Stanford, I want to thank you on behalf of Global Jinga, on yeah. behalf of I, all my Brazilian community, I want to thank you. Muito obrigada pela presença aqui hoje no show. E a gente se vê então. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> abraço, abraço, Brasil. Abraços e muito amor e obrigada pelo trabalho de vocês. Yeah, obrigado. Tá bom? Tchau. Tchau, bye-bye. Ok.